Well, welcome back to Houston Life. It's such a beautiful day. I thought I would step outside for this next story. During the pandemic, a local mom came up with a really cool way to get creativity into communities which are typically cut off from the art world. Let's meet her now, Veronica Cabrera Moreno, owner of HTX Art Bus. And this bus, this is a really cool program. How did it all begin? Well, it began with a passion that I've had for many, many years to be able to bring art into underserved areas. And I kept trying to think of how exactly to do that. And it just dawned on me, a bus. I can get the art to them rather than trying to get the kids and the families and the grandparents to come to me. Put pillows on the floor and gave them sponges to paint with and played peaceful music and just made it really fun. This all started during the pandemic, right? So in 2020, you and your four boys you have, yes. ages 9 to 16, yes. they actually helped you convert this school bus. It didn't always look like this. No, it did not. Yes, the boys were amazing. My husband was amazing. They came in there and they pulled out seeds and came up with creative ideas on how to paint it because I probably would have never done it that way and just really helped me transform this bus into what it is now. What kinds of art activities can people participate in. I mean, I have pretty much anything in there that you would see in a classroom. So I can do acrylics and watercolors and oil pastels and chalk pastels and just really anything I can cram into that little corner in the bus. Talk to us about why art is so critical. Uh, I, I loved art when I was a young person. There are a lot of folks who say that even if you're not going to be an artist, art provides discipline and a creative yes. outlet. Why do you yes. believe art is so important? Well, I do believe that we were creatively and beautifully made. And one of those things is that we need to be able to express that creativity out into the world. And sometimes we're going through things or we're experiencing things and we don't really know how to verbalize that. But when it comes to a, a visual medium, sometimes those things can just relay onto that medium. And you can actually see and people around you can see and understand what you're feeling and what you're going through. That is so beautifully said. Can you think of a time or just overall uh, how art has affected you and your life? Oh, and I could give you so many examples, but I think, you know, I lost my, fa my father at a very young age, and so art was one of those things that I would see him do. And then when he passed and I was dealing with those emotions and it wasn't something you talked about very much, I was able to create and paint those emotions. And then conversation started because people could visually see what was going on in my mind and my heart. I think that is fantastic. And I'm sorry you lost your dad. I know how that feels. Okay, so if people watching the show now are saying, wow, we've got to meet Veronica. We want to see this bus rolling into our community. Mm -hmm. How do they get you to come? Um, I have a website, htxart.org, and my email is on there. There's a contact form, and I have a phone number, and just different ways to get a hold of me. Yeah. And all ages are welcome, is that all right? All ages are welcome, of course. Well, of course. I think it is really cool what you are doing. And just seeing the school bus, I mean, take a look at this beautiful work of art. The bus itself is beautiful. Veronica Cabrera Moreno, thank you so much you. for doing this. And it really is a critical need in so many communities really in is. Houston. Yeah. We'll see you very soon. All right, thank you. All right, and for more information, as always, you can visit our website, HoustonLife.tv. For now, I'm going to send it back to you in the studio.